Thank you for joining us on another movie review on Richway TV. I'm Frank. And I'm Chris, who once shaved a monkey for $10 and a beat for dinner. And today we're reviewing I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore. I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore is a film that follows a woman who is tired of interacting with mean people. And when she gets robbed and the police do very little, decides to take matters into her own hands, aided by her weird neighbor, is actually how every single person I've told about this movie feels apparently, and I agree wholeheartedly. I just want people to stop being such assholes. So Chris, how did you feel about the plot of this story? Well, funny enough, the plot is actually based around a real life scenario that uh, the director, Macon Blair, kind of had. He had his apartment broken into and a laptop was stolen. Yeah. And when he filled out the police report, the cops came, he was like, well, how are we going to get this guy? What's going to happen next? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? Are we going to do this? And the cops were like, uh, if we find it, we find it. Mm. So that prompted him to be like, well, what the fuck? I got it. I'll go to the pawn shops. And that's kind of where you can see the similarities of this movie take place and take off. So after that kind of uh, altercation, he starts developing these this elaborate scenario of what happens if you have this character who's, who's been wronged, who's fed up with fucking life, all of the inconveniences and insincerities and this and that, throw in some wacky neighbors, some meth heads, and some insane situations. And with a combination like that, I was interested the whole way through. And the movie just kind of builds. The plot starts out with the little things. You see Ruth getting inconvenienced by this, that, and the other thing leading up to the burglary. Then it just kind of takes off from there. And it just gets worse and worse until the final scene with the robbery. And at that point, you're just like, we went from fucking people cutting in line at the supermarket to ninja stars being thrown into people's faces, hands getting blown off, everything. It's just left with, like, how the fuck did we get here? <laughs> but ultimately... I loved it. it. It was a very well-written, well-directed, and well-flowing movie. What about you? How'd you feel? Oh, the comedy is exactly where I wanted it to be. It's circumstantial, so it doesn't really have to be forced in. It's just hilarious. There's scenes that if you've never been cut in line, or if you've never dealt or felt that you've dealt with an asshole, you probably won't laugh at this movie. Like, a lot of the times, I found myself laughing through it and having to rewind just to hear some of the dialogue that I missed while I was laughing. And the writing is done in such a way that everything feels natural. It doesn't feel punchline, punchline, punchline. Right. It's just very quirky. Like, it has its own sense of realism to it that I enjoy. Uh, the director definitely hit it out of the park with me. As you said, it's based off a true story. And honestly, <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that stuff like this happens. Like, there's crazy things that happen, but I can understand someone breaking into someone's house and stealing a laptop or maybe my grandmother's precious silverware and IT would be heavily broken by it because that's just something that I remember my family for was somebody else was just trying to get a dollar off of it. Right. And it's like very dark comedy. Like it's a black comedy in its finest and honestly I don't get to see many dark comedies like this. The last thing I've watched was the Young Doctor's Notebook and I'm probably going to do a review on that, too, so keep posted. Hell yeah. Um, what did you feel about the characters? Well, you kind of mentioned it before, but the characters felt very real. Uh, Ruth, the main character, can you can relate to her on a lot of levels. She's inconvenienced by all these things, like the asshole who's blowing all kinds of fucking smog out of their giant fucking truck, cutting in line at the supermarket, guy dropping his shit and not picking it up, people shitting in her lawn, <laughs> and... You just kind of connect with all the characters, except for, you know, the shitheads, unless you can. On some way, and they're written in such a way that when Ruth and Tony start, you know, fighting back against this thing, it feels good. You know, it's kind of like a bit of a revenge story, but I don't know how you would put it. Like a social revenge type thing. Like, we're, yeah. getting, back at the, we're getting back at the assholes who did this. And it feels good to see that. And ultimately, it leads to the good guys winning and the bad guys getting ninja starred. Yeah, like honestly, I feel the same way about the characters. There's this line where uh, Chris's dad says like, you could do whatever you want in this world. And like, 
I I was honestly really offended when he said that. I was like, fuck you, dude. You're such an asshole. And she just wants an apology, really. Um, right. But it's cool to see people, like normal people like us. Th they're characters that are so relatable and well-written that it made me want to be like, no, like I'm not taking this shit anymore. And right. kind of like write things in my own way. Um, I love Ruth. She's really innocent. She's funny. I, I like her character a lot. At the end of the film, without trying to give any spoilers, um, during the robbery, I was off. I was like, yeah, like, she's doing the right thing. Like, don't let them shoot any more people. Like, yeah. save, save everybody. Save who you can. But honestly, Elijah Wood in this film is my favorite performance. His character is God, hilarious. Every scene he's in is just perfect for him. Like, I wouldn't be mad if Elijah would play the same character for the rest of his movie careers because he's so funny to me, and I would love to have a neighbor that badass. <laughs> Hell yeah! Ninja stars, nunchucks, morning stars, fucking firecrackers. Hell yeah! You can tell that uh, he spent his life training for that very particular role, and it just happens to be that character has been training all his particular life for that very moment to someone to fuck up one of his friends' life so that they could go seek revenge. Oh, yeah. That was his moment. That kid would have been a Jedi. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, <laughs> he uh, plays the perfect sidekick, I feel. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I wish there was more scenes with the dog aside from, you know, the pooping in the lawn scene. But I think it would be cool to have, like, the dogs, like, oh, no, like, you're attacking my, Tony or you're attacking my master or so I'm going to attack you. I think that would be great. But that's just me wanting a little bit more. The movie actually is well-rounded and you know i shouldn't want more from it than what it already gave me do you have any thoughts on the soundtrack like how did you feel about the soundtrack of this movie you know i'm not a fan of country by any stretch of the imagination i know that's a very broad term to be blanketing the soundtrack with but the bluegrass the gospel bluegrass all of that a i liked it it fit the movie like perfectly and I don't know, it just, it gave the movie, like, a certain vibe, like, it, it set, it kind of set the place where it was. I, I can't really pinpoint where this was supposed to be based off of, but I, I guess, like, the Midwest, or maybe, like, Tennessee, or maybe Kentucky, somewhere like that. Some place uh, in the woods, kind of, like, right. small, small community where everybody knows each other. So, like, I feel you, I'm, I'm not a big fan of country myself. But I feel that the soundtrack is really good to this, and it suits the movie perfectly. Um, I, d I did go back to listen to the outro song again, just so I could see how the lyrics worked with the final scenes and how they edited around it. That was actually pretty good, man. Like, it's a really campy home feeling, and that's what the movie's all about, is holding your own, you know? Like, this is my home, and I'm defending it kind of thing. Right. It's also something that the characters, each character can feel, too. Yeah. Overall, I Don't Feel at Home in This World is a fantastic movie with great performances, writing, comedy, characters, and everything overall is just great about the movie. Despite how we feel, and every single person I say this title to feels, this movie perfectly belongs at home in this world. So Chris, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give this movie as a rating? I'm sitting at a nice 7 for this movie. It was definitely an enjoyable movie interesting ride uh fucking it definitely took a turn that i wasn't expecting but when it did it did it well just how dark it got the final scene is something i never saw coming out of this movie and when it did it 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 pulled it off everything felt natural and complete and we're left with a nice little ending so i'm sitting at a nice seven for it what about you my friend i feel you on the whole entire movie coming together as i said i feel the performances are great overall i think this movie is great i'm going to give this movie an eight out of ten it's not the perfect movie but it's definitely one of those movies that when you watch it you definitely could feel it and that's what i'm all about when it comes to movies right. i want to be able to feel that i can relate to the character and i can relate to not only ruth but tony at times and that's what it's all about absolutely would you recommend this movie to a friend, or would you trash it? 
I would definitely recommend this movie. It's definitely um, a movie that you can sit down, watch with somebody, interesting and entertaining the whole way through. I definitely would also recommend it. If anybody was there, come over to my house and they wanted to watch a movie, this would be the first thing I put on just so I could get the reaction. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us. If you like what you hear, or if you have anything that you want to add or say, please comment and like the video, or dislike it so I know not to make videos like this anymore. <laughs> I hope that you guys have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Peace.